Well, last week I started to rebuild a set of Sarvan hubs for a spring wagon. I need to turn new cores for these and that's going to be part of this week's video. Last week you also noticed I had an Amish buggy wheel show up that threw the rubber tire and many of you noticed that they had roller bearing hubs and hydraulic brake drums on the back of this wheel. Well this is an attribute that the Amish like, the advantage of Timken roller bearing wheels. Now Henry Timken first invented this tapered roller bearing back in 1898 when he got his patent and began production in 1899. So the Timken roller bearing has been around for a long time. So we're going to do a brief comparison of what it takes to start to build wheels on the two different style of hubs. But first I have to bring this old set of Sarvan hubs up to a state of condition that I can build wheels. So I'm going to turn the cores for these and get them up to that position.
Well now at this point we have two sets of hubs that we can start to build wheels on. Starting to rebuild old Sargon wheels is a little more involved than just going to the shelf and buying a set of roller bearing hubs. But now we can start to see the comparison of how you build the same buggy wheel on two different style of hubs. So the next section of this video is going through the assembly process of spokes into a Sargon hub and into a modern roller bearing hub.
So now you can maybe see some of the pros and cons between the old 1865 style or patented Sarvan hub as opposed to the 1898-1899 invention of the Timken roller bearing hub. The roller bearings don't take the maintenance that the old style boxings do. They are sealed up against moisture and dirt. They are just readily available and easily to build wheels on. Um, so anyway, this is just kind of quick comparison about the two different styles. If you don't have the lathe, if you don't have the hub boring machine to deal with the Sarvan style hub, the roller bearing is really a nice option to go for a new buggy. So anyway, appreciate you following along. Hope this makes sense. And as always, thanks for watching.